Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel. Dan Fates here in a new-ish home studio, same place, just kind of a new design. I liked what Jenna did with her new home studio, kind of trying to copy it with some shelves. It is still a work in progress. Before we get into the video though, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Over 23,000 subscribers, we continue to grow. We really appreciate it. But the video I wanted to make today was, Obviously, you heard that Josh Allen is the cover athlete for Madden 24, but I wanted to talk about what it means for Josh, what it means for the Bills, what it means for Bills Mafia, and the message that it sends through the entire NFL. And this isn't breaking news to you, but by some of the reaction, maybe it's some breaking news to other people. Now it is officially official. Josh Allen is one of the faces of the NFL. There is only one video game that an NFL player can be on the cover of. And JA17 has received that honor. Look, he is in rare space where he is universally liked both on and off the field. And I said it jokingly that it wasn't breaking news to people here on the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel because we talked about it. After that game in Kansas City in the playoffs where they lost in overtime, Josh Allen raised his level and his caliber of play and his persona and the gravitas of Josh Allen to superstar status. Remember that off season? Remember when he was at the ESPYs? Am I right, Josh Allen? Or you just end it in a way that makes sense, is fair, and gives everyone an equal opportunity to win. Remember when he was playing in the match? Like those aren't just good quarterbacks that get to do that. That is a legitimate superstar to be on that level, to be on the Brady, the Mahomes, the Rodgers level. And that is where Josh Allen has put himself. So to be on the face of, to be on the cover of Madden speaks volumes to all of that and just reiterates the fact that Josh Allen is absolutely one of those stars who is pretty much beloved by most people, maybe not inside the division fan bases. I get that, but okay, most people enjoy watching Josh Allen. That's why the Bills are on primetime so much. It's not because of Tredavious White. It's because of Josh Allen. That is what a superstar caliber quarterback can do. And so for, for Josh, he said it was an honor. He said he grew up playing Madden. I know I'm 31. Like I grew up playing Madden. So all of this is really kind of cool to see this. That's how we learned how to play football. And I'm sure there are some Bills fans here that are on this channel that maybe didn't play video games, but they never thought a Buffalo Bills player would be on it. So massive, massive moment for putting the bills on that status. And I was thinking about this earlier this week when what it meant to be on the Madden cover, when Terry Pagula spoke at the groundbreaking for the new bill stadium and Terry talked about how he goes, it's pretty special that there are only 30 of these in the country. And it made me think like, holy <laughs> he's right. There are only 30 stadiums in the NFL in this country. And one of them is in Orchard Park. It's not another massive city. This isn't New York or New Jersey or, you know, Dallas. Like it is one of the best stadiums. One of the best, biggest fan bases um, is in Buffalo, New York. So it's that, that's special there. Now it's special for Josh, not only because he said he played the game, but it's also the aspect of, I remember back in 2019, right before COVID hit, I started to research this story that I did about how, where Josh came from. And you may have seen it. Uh, it's my pinned tweet on Twitter, but just the story of how Josh Allen and, and what it meant to come from fireball, California. And I, I met up with his junior college coach and I talked to some of his, um, his high school coaches. And just the fact of that fireball, California is in the middle of nowhere. And that nobody gets recruited out of Fireball. Allen going deep, and he's got him. Touchdown! There's not much in Fireball, California. Fireball is kind of in the middle of nowhere. You know, it's got one stoplight. And as for high school football, nobody gets recruited out of Fireball. But that didn't stop Ernie Rodriguez from driving there in the fall of 2014, much to the displeasure of his wife. She goes, Why in the hell are you going to Fireball? I said, there, there's, kid, there's this kid out there. That kid was zero star recruit Josh Allen. Well, there's two stoplights, so I'm going to have to check him on that one. Rodriguez was the offensive coordinator at Reedley Junior College, which is about an hour east of Fireball. He was like the one guy that believed in me and the one guy that truly wanted me to come play for him. Even though Allen originally didn't want to go to junior college and then didn't even start once he got there. It was very hard and it kind of humbled me. I go, you gotta be patient. I know it sucks. I've been through this, but 
let that be something that drives you and motivates you, and it sure as heck did. Allen only started six games at Reedley, but the two built a bond. I was just hoping that we would have him more than one semester. But the rest is history. Josh Allen steps up, zips it deep for the touchdown. The Buffalo Bills select Josh Allen. But last so I put that clip in the entire video. It's pinned on my uh, on my Twitter page. Well, also the link to that video will be in the description below. I posted the video a while ago. Again, that guy that had was zero star recruit and nobody wanted is now on the cover of Matt. Like that is special. And so I know like the next point is I know a lot of people talks about like, Oh, like there used to be the Madden curse. I get that. That's when I was playing the game more. It's not anymore. Brady Mahomes. Some of these guys that have been on it, they've won super bowls. They, they played MVP caliber football. So like that's not there. And for the slander that has gone on there, I know there's some people. And again, I fully understand that I'm not expecting uh, Dolphins fans or Jets fans or Patriots fans to, to, to be excited. The fact that one of their rivals is on the cover of a video game, but like, let's also factor in guys like this is a, a it's video game. So this isn't an MVP award. This isn't a uh, player voted thing. Like this is, this is a Madden cover. So for all the slander um, that they're about Josh Allen, that he's not deserving of being on the Madden cover to me is just asinine. Hey, 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 you idiot. And, and shout out to the Circling the Wagons podcast. I saw this tweet, giving them credit for it. 23 players had been on the cover of Madden. Crazy to think Josh Allen is going to be one of those players. 15 of them have never won a, never won a championship when they were on the cover. So, like, this isn't some career achievement award to be on Madden. Like, it's a video game. And what it boils down to is that Josh Allen is fun. Oh! oh! <laughs> that thing is what a sick son of a bitch! Come on! Oh, that might be too far. Wow. Some guys just have it all, but you have to see the size of his hands. The way that he plays is fun. Like, it was kind of a bit growing up, is that we talked about this channel. It's the Josh Allen experience, right? It's like he's mashing all the buttons on the controller. He's laddling, laddling the ball to Dawson Knox down the field. He's throwing a ball to... Pat DeMarco and double coverage down the field in the playoff game. Like that is who Josh Allen is. He's flipping over, you know, catching passes, flipping over in the end zone. He's hurtling defenders. That's what you want to do in a video game. So for everybody that's all upset about the fact that Josh Allen shouldn't be on the cover, that he doesn't deserve it. Like wake up. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? Josh Allen is the epitome of fun. And especially the, where I talk about the face of the franchise, a lot of younger kids, just like Josh Allen, not only because he's a uh, does a lot for kids, uh, does you know very open and honest about some of this stuff, but like he's fun. So why wouldn't EA Sports want a fun player on their cover? So to me, it's an absolute no brainer. And especially when you start to think about it, I was also going back to like what EA Sports wants in a video game, and and, and people being upset about that he hasn't won anything is to me is just absolutely stupid. And to factor on top of that, Leonard Floyd, all the players, when they get a chance to come to Buffalo, there are new Bills players. One of the first things they're asked, one of the first things they talk about is Josh Allen. And it's so comical to me. And I can listen to it all the time. Having a player talk about what it's like to either play against Josh Allen or just their perception of Josh Allen. A real juggernaut type of quarterback. Hated playing against him, so I'm happy he's my teammate now. Yeah. Ask you played against Josh. What's it like to defend against Josh Allen? Yeah, he's he's a beast, man. He's a a, a berserker. You know what I'm saying? Like he hard to stop when he get going. Yeah, he he the real deal for sure. Yeah, Floyd called him a berserker. I had to Google how to spell that because it's just that outlandish. Like that is everything you want in a video game. Thank you, Dan. So all of this makes sense. So for anybody that says that Josh Allen isn't deserving to be on the Madden cover, I would say get a life and get a grip. And we just, you just don't understand what, what this is. Yeah, that's, that's stupid. Now with being a superstar and being on the Madden cover, there becomes extra pressure. There just is like, that is how this works. And I know it's not, like I said, this being on the Madden cover is not some MVP award, but what it is, is that it is a status of where you are in the NFL. So 
the NFL and it's why they have so many primetime games. It's all of these things that are combined into it. So guess what? Josh Allen will be criticized more for if he doesn't perform well. Like that's just how this goes. That's a little weird. But... So yeah, the goalposts keep get moving back. They, they, they continue to be pushed back. And that's part of a good thing. And, and this talk about the salary cap and all this stuff, like, well, you're eventually gonna have to pay Josh Allen. I, I always joke, like, that's a good problem to have. So the fact is, is that yes, Josh Allen will now be talked about for what he does off the field, what he does on the field, what he does um, in his appearances, the TV shows, his commercials, his endorsements, all of that stuff comes with it. Because guess what? Josh Allen is now a mega superstar. I remember talking to Matt Beauvais, who's been on the channel, good friend, sports director over at, uh, in Buffalo at KBW, that like Josh Allen has kind of priced himself out of local advertising. Like he is now Gillette. He is now Doritos. He is now that level of superstar status. So it's fitting that he gets to be on, a, on an NFL video game. It is fitting that it's Madden. All of those things make sense. Just understand that criticism comes with, you know, great responsibility comes with great, you know, expectations, all that stuff. The fact of the matter is, is that there is added pressure on Josh Allen. And I would argue because there hasn't been a ton of moves offensively, that's time for a different video. Um, pressure is ramped up on Josh. So again, so happy for Bills fans. So cool that the Bills Mafia gets to be on that cover. But again, it's just the fact of Josh Allen is has been a superstar, but now it is officially official that he is one of the faces of the NFL. Primetime, broadcast rights, all those things, they all want it. Everybody wants a piece of Josh Allen, and all Josh Allen wants and needs is a piece of a Lombardi trophy. So there will be plenty more real football to talk about. There is mandatory mini camp on Tuesday. We will be up there covering it. We will have to see about whether Stephon Diggs is there. All of those things we can talk about later. Also have another big guest, a returning guest, recurring guest, scheduled to come up uh, on the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel, hopefully later next week, looking around Thursday after mini camp. Tons of great stuff. But again, I just want to come on here to talk about what it means for Josh Allen to be on the Madden cover. It solidifies him as a mega superstar and a face of the NFL for sure. Awesome stuff. Thanks again for watching. We will have plenty more coverage through minicamp leading up to it, all those things. The Found in Fireball video that I did on Josh Allen, uh, where I sat down with his junior college coach, Eddie Rodriguez, all of that stuff will be in the description below. So again, thanks for sticking through this video. I really appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We will catch you next time here on the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel.